Hi folks, hope you're all doing well today. This video is a response to Christopher Rell's video titled, I Won't Apologize for Being Christian, which by the way, I found very dramatic, Chris. Uh, this video is directed at me for recent comments I left on another video of his. Now, Chris and I have known each other through YouTube for many years. And by many years, you know, for about four or five years, actually, maybe five or six years. I'm not really sure. Uh, I even did a shout-out video for Chris way back when, one of the one of only two shout-out videos I ever did. And uh, Chris was uh, left one of the first comments I ever received on any video, on my first video. I thought that was kind of cool. Now, Chris, you seem to be getting frustrated, as you stated at the beginning of your video, and that you think I don't understand your position, and that you're not sure that you understand mine. I think the least I should do is this video response. I suspect that you won't like it, but it's how I honestly feel. And I know that uh, you would not want me to say anything else. Your position is crystal clear to me, and I think it would be clear to anyone who watches the video that this is responding to. I'll put the link below in the usual spot. Here's my position, Chris. As you've I have written down here, uneloquently put it, I'm blabbering about people, perhaps like you, who actively promote inequality by targeting specific groups of people who are targeted solely because of who and what they are. This discussion that we're now having has now evolved into not only targeting them on a personal level, but expanding that to include the legislation of law, and more specifically, publicly fighting against laws supporting equality of rights, solely based on who or what a group is. In this case, homosexuals. I want you to notice specifically that I've said people when I said blabbering about people perhaps like you. I haven't and didn't in any of my comments to do with this subject said anything about any organization that someone might belong to that might have a doctrine supporting the notion of inequality based on sexual orientation. And this is because I don't care about that. It's you, Chris, the individual that holds these views, votes, and actively condemns these people in the public square, which is YouTube. And it's you the individual, Chris, that I'm confronting and that I'm saying to in the public square, which is YouTube, that I demand the same rights and privileges that you do under the law. No different name, no different meaning, no separate but equal. All people have the right to demand the same rights and privileges that you do under the law. I want to go on to some specifics in the video I'm replying to. Maybe you'll realize a few things that are very clear, at least to me, and why I left my original comment on Anthony, Anthony's video, namely Jesus Freak 777, and then on your video response 
to his video. <clears throat> I heard you in the last video and have read in a few of your comments just how much you love homosexuals and that you work with homosexuals and have friends that are homosexuals and that your children bring their homosexuals over to your house. I think your idea of love and friendship might be a wee bit different than mine. My idea of love and friendship does not include actively voting against my friend's fundamental rights based on who they love, why they love them, and how they have sex with a consenting adult in the privacy of their own home. Chris, I admit that I have the hardest time understanding why you and those who feel like you care so much about homosexuality to the point that there is now clearly a division of us versus them. Watching your video at around 40 seconds, maybe because of how angry you are that I'm even here pointing this out, your personal disdain for them clearly comes out. You're saying, for lack of a better way to put it, separate but equal. That's good enough. Which in itself is not equal. Now I'll give you a clue as to how old I am here, Chris. By telling you a remembrance of mine. Seeing with my own eyes separate to toilets in Nashville. One was labeled whites only. And I remember asking my mother what that meant. And she just looked at me and shook her head. I'm not trying to force anyone to do anything. As you point out, racists remain racists. But what you may be missing is that perceptions and and acceptances can change over time as generations come and go. We've experienced this with racism in our own country, accelerated by just laws being put into place. When you say the gays are out and bolder with each generation, you say it if it's, if it's as if that's a bad thing. I, I wish you could see what a good thing that is. You then go on to try to make the additional argument that the definition has been taken away and it confuses children, that they can fi but they can figure it out. You see, Chris, I see this much differently. I see it as the definition has been clarified, both legally for all of us, and for children. At about 1 minute 20 seconds, you move the conversation over to your church. And believe me, I understand why. You start complaining that the original video wasn't even about the subject at hand. We're going to go back to that in just a few seconds. At 1.36, of your video, you say that you can see people like me accusing Christians, like yourself, of treating gays as less than equal simply because you are adhering to your faith. Chris, what are people like me? I'm treating you as an individual responsible for your own actions. I've not brought up your faith, your lack of faith, or that you might belong to a purebred dog club that doesn't allow mongrel dogs to attend. This just keeps coming back in the comments on your videos from other commenters and yourself. I'm speaking to you, Chris, the individual, the human being, not the self-labeled Chris that justifies behavior, behavior according to that label. And Chris, 
at 222 of your video saying that most straights are genetically programmed to reject homosexuals and some of you were born anti-gay? Chris, Chris, tell me you're not serious with a statement like born anti-gay. Okay, let's go back to the original Jesus Freak video just for a few minutes. I know I'm boring a lot of people. Uh, which was indeed not about what is being discussed right here. It was about examples of how the church is basically falling apart, and the acceptance of gays in the church was an example of why. Maybe I can clarify why I left my original comment to, to Anthony, which was, my comment, your homophobia screams through loud and clear. And to you, on your response video, which was, I'm going to leave the same comment I left for Anthony, even though you may think I'm not addressing the video, meaning your video. But I am addressing an example you slipped in, just like Anthony. Your homophobia is shining through, Chris. I really wish you could see what you're doing when you condemn other people for their sexual orientation. I'm being kind. Next time, I won't be about this. That's the end of my comment. My original comment to Anthony was because of his continuing, ridiculous rhetoric bashing not only homosexuals, but anyone from, diff from differing sexual behaviors than his, than he thinks is acceptable. I don't know what his sexual behaviors are, and quite frankly, I don't care. My comment to you was because of your vehement, publicly said acceptance of this notion. The conversation has evolved into this discussion from there with the help of other commenters who have steered it into this direction. My original thoughts as I was commenting to both of you were quite different. I'll try to explain what I meant when I said to you, I really wish you could see what you're doing when you condemn other people for their sexual orientation. In the public arena, there are many impressionable people. Many of these people, as you know, as you may know yourself, are young, teenagers, people who are affected by who they perceive to be an authority for whatever reason. Many of these people who are already being beaten up mentally and physically at school, at work, at home, just about wherever they go, when they hear what Anthony or you or any number of other people who think that homosexuality is wrong legally, spiritually, and to the point of legislating against it, can understand it to mean that what they feel, who they love, that their simplest emotions are wrong and sick. Many of these people feel as though they are not strong enough to change, as if they should, and that there is only one way out of their failure, a false failure that has been hammered into their heads. This is why I made those comments. These people need to see that there are many people, like me, who don't subscribe to telling them that their personal feelings are invalid, that it's all right to be who they are and to love who they love. Chris, I'm not and would never ask you to apologize for your personal beliefs. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what it has to do with the topic at hand, but it was quite a dramatic title. Until next time, folks. Take care.